Hello, Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Satrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at whatever.com. Today, let's make a superb, great tasting dish from mushrooms. Mushrooms are really healthy food. Did you know that a single serving of mushroom can contain one third of person daily need for selenium? Mushroom also contain large amounts of riboflavin, potassium and vital proteins for health. Mushrooms also contain small amount of naturally occurring monosodium glutamate. Mushrooms are great because they are also low in calories. For mushroom fry, you need chopped onion, curry leaves, salt, whole garam masala, cumin seeds, chopped tomatoes, little lemon juice, pepper powder, turmeric, little chopped coriander, cumin powder, coriander powder, ginger garlic paste, red chilli powder. Lastly, the mushroom. Before I go ahead and make this dish, I would like to thank uh, Mrs. Aranga Asokan for providing me the recipe for this dish. When I made lamb fry, she said, oh, you could also make mushroom fry this, this similar way and it tastes really good and best alternative for vegetarians. As usual, take some oil in a pan, add whole garam masala. If you don't like this whole garam masala coming in your mouth, you could use a garam masala powder in the last, just before you finish the dish. Okay? But I like to use a whole garam masala because the nice flavor that starts of the dish uh, inspires me to cook the dish with a lot more interest. Then add half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. Add one cup of chopped onion. After you add onions, add little salt. Add very little, quarter teaspoon of turmeric. and ginger garlic paste, around uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Now add some curry leaves, okay. you can make this dish without curry leaves also, but you know once you get to use a certain kind of taste, you will love it. So you know a lot of times I use lot of curry leaves, but some recipes it's a must for this recipe. You know, if you have it, add it, otherwise you can get away with it. Add some chopped green chilli. Fresh mushrooms are truly a cook's best friend. Whether you need to just add a little something to dress things up or something good in vegetarian dishes, your answer is mushroom. When your onions are slightly cooked, add some chopped tomatoes. Mushrooms cook really fast, so you know just cook these tomatoes a little bit and then we can add mushrooms. There is no need to peel mushrooms. The only trimming that may need is the stem end. Most mushroom stems may be prepared along with the caps. There are over 38,000 varieties of the mushrooms available, over 3,000 in North America alone. With varying colors, textures and flavors, some are so rare that they are only grown for one week during a year. We will let these tomatoes cook for a few minutes. Let's uh, slightly mash them up. Then we will add some water and mushrooms and cover it up and cook for 10 minutes. Make sure cut your mushrooms just before cooking because the cut edges of mushrooms will turn dark when exposed to air. Okay. Now that the tomatoes are cooked, just add mushrooms here
mushrooms do not depend on photosynthesis to grow that means they don't need sunlight they need only rain and moderate temperatures now i added little water what i'll do is i'll cover it up and let them cook for few minutes see these mushrooms are little darker on one side and whiter on one side these uh, mushrooms give a nice dark color to this preparation and they give out very nice uh, fragrance remember one thing unless you are well educated in all types of mushrooms don't go picking up mushrooms or eating something you found as mushrooms can get really poisonous it is wise to purchase your mushrooms from a grocer now the mushrooms you can see the water evaporating uh, reduce the flame and uh, take another container see now you can look at these mushrooms they look as if um, they are small pieces of liver or lamb that's being cooked vegetarians we haven't heard anything okay sometimes i feel i say some certain thing can kill some of the time now let's make the spices i took some garlic put some cumin seeds and some peppercorns and crush them okay now my garlic spice is ready i put garlic cumin seeds and peppercorns now take some butter in a pan now just melt little butter add your chopped uh, garlic pepper and cumin seeds and nicely saute them ha ah, i love this flavor you know try you know try putting this mixture in our preparations it's i call it indian pesto see italians use a pesto sauce this is my indian pesto so after you do that add some coriander leaves make sure very little coriander powder cumin powder and chili powder okay i can add some more of chili powder make sure you don't burn the mixture because if you burn it it's going to get the bitter now transfer all the mushrooms into this you are very right this definitely smells really really nice like uh, you know my lamb fry in fact it tastes smells even better than lamb fry i love to use a big wide open pan for this while cooking mushrooms i use a smaller pan but since now i have to uh, evaporate this um, all the water that is there in this i use a wide open pan you can add a little bit of salt now you can see the mushroom is ready it's dry with nice seasoning so now um, look at this if you taste this you won't believe that this is um, vegetarian and uh, you know probably this is one of the best vegetarian dishes i have eaten so i hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning to make this mushroom fry remember that whatava is all about inspiring others to cook and eat fresh food so just like mrs saranga if you have a recipe that you think it is one of a kind and you want to share with the rest of the world please post your recipe and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking